good morning. So, welcome again sa video natin. Uh, discussion about physics. So, uh, natapos na natin yung uh, nakaraang chapter. So, na, na experience na natin and uh, encounter na natin yung iba't ibang mga physical quantity gaya ng velocity, displacement, acceleration, uh, forces, mga ganyan. And ngayon ay... Uh, jump out na tayo dun sa sunod na chapter ano so 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 for now ang may encounter naman natin is all about work and energy so uh, applicable pa din uh, kailangan pa din nating i-apply yung ating mga natutunan nung nakaraan dito sa ating topic ngayon ano kasi ang work ay kailangan ng force and uh, displacement so, na na-discuss natin Uh, nung nakara mga nakaraang chapter ano so ayan so our topic for today is all about work energy and power so himayin natin yan so hindi natin bibiglain unahin nating aralin is yung work and kinetic energy with constant force so when we say work so so yan yung tinatawag na Uh, force multiplied by the displacement. So, yung force ay hindi lang basta force. Ano? So, laging tandaan, kapag work, uh, yung force dapat is parallel or along or opposite in the direction of motion or the displacement. Ano? So, yun yung work. And kinetic energy naman, yan yung energy in motion. So, ano yung behavior ng work and kinetic energy? kapag yung ating ini-apply na force is constant. So, alam nyo na yan. So, ibig sabihin, kapag may constant force, merong hindi constant. Yung nagbabari yung force. So, sa sunod na topic na lang natin, sunod na discussion na lang natin yon Ano po? So, unahin natin is yung constant force. So, work and kinetic energy with constant force. Okay. So, Work. Unahin natin si work. So, ano ba yung work? That is the product of force applied to the body multi and the displacement or how the body changes the position. Ano? How the body changes its position by 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 acting or or subjecting to a certain force which is F. Ano po? So, yan yun. Ito yung basic formula na alam natin. So, so walang work na mangyayari kung halimbawa ay binuhat natin yung isang, isang, ano ba, binuhat natin yung libro and stationary, nandun tayo sa position na yun. So, hindi tayo gumalaw. So, therefore, walang displacement na nangyayari. So, meaning, walang work yon Pero kung yung baba taas, baba taas ka, dun sa ating libro may, may work doon may displacement na mangyayari kaya lang hindi with respect to, to x axis but with respect to y axis ano yung displacement natin so babataas babataas ka so may work ka doon ano so gaya nung mga nagwo-work out diyan yan so example natin para mas maintindihan natin ng mas maliwanag itong work ano ano ba itong work na ito talaga So these people, so kung nakikita nakikita niyo diyan sa sa picture ano. So these people are doing work as they push on this stalled car. So yung yung natumihirik na kotse ay itinutulak ng mga taong 'yan. And because they exert a force on the car as it moves. So stated as it moves, gumalaw siya, meaning merong displacement na nangyari, which is the displacement S. And yung applied force yun yung inapply ng mga tao and therefore merong doing work doon doon ano po so yan so ano pang example the work done by a constant force acting in the same direction as the displacement so ito ang tandaan ha dito sa physics natin for engineers ang ating work lagi dapat yung ating force or yung net force doon na na nag a doon sa body is always parallel always parallel to the displacement ito, parallel siya so meaning ng parallel pwede siyang mag-oppose pero parallel pa din siya okay so, ibig sabihin nun 
ay may direction pa din yung ating uh, uh, wo- uh, wala, uh, even wala siyang direction talaga yung work is scalar quantity siya no so yung direction o yung yung negative sign is nag imply lang siya dahil magkasalungat yung ating force and displacement okay pag magkasalungat ito meaning yung ating work is negative so but hindi hindi literal na yung work is negative is is yung negative sign doon ay yung direction na ng work ang <coughs> ang ang ini-imply noon ano po so when kapag nag negative work yan ibig sabihin yung force natin is opposite to the direction of motion okay when the force is 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 along with the direction of motion so positive yung ating work natin okay So, tandaan laging parallel yung ating force and si displacement kapag we are dealing with uh, uh, compute computation ng work. Ano? So, yan. So, if a body moves through a displacement S, nakikita nyo yan. So, displacement is also a vector. A force is also a vector. So, meaning kung natatandaan nyo yung that product, that product, so... Uh, that product is the the that product of two vectors ano yan so f cosine s yung ano yung kung i-apply natin yung that product so mamaya apply natin and constant force so kapag nag-apply ka ng constant force dito ang mangyayari dito sa uh, sa block na yan is magmo-move constant force ano as long as na nanaabot niya yung static Uh, frictional force so magkakaroon ng static kinetic force dito ano kapag nagbuba no so hindi na hindi na static ano so static kinetic force so from our previous topic yun ano yan yan the work done by the force on the body is work uh, denote as denotes as uh, capital letter W so kapag le- uh, sm- small letter W yun ay weight ano so kapag uh, malaking letter W yan yung work is equal to force oh, yung magnitude ng force multiplied by S S yung displacement natin okay yan so yun lang, yun lang naman ang tanda natin dapat parallel yung ating force sa displacement and mumultiply mo lang siya So, so yung net force is is always parallel to the displacement para mako para magkaroon ng work. Kapag perpendicular 'yan, wala siyang work, okay? Kapag perpendicular yung force sa displacement, wala siyang uh, work na mangyayari, okay? Yan. So work So, alamin natin ano ba yung unit ng work ano. The SI unit for of work is joule. So, ano ba yung joule na yan? Abbreviated J, letter capital letter J, pronounced as joule, joule. And named in honor of the 19th century English physicist James Prescott Joule. So, naka naka-discover niya niyan. Yung work na yan is si James Prescott Joule kaya pinangalan yung unit doon sa kanya, joule. So, yung joule na yan ay, yan, 1 joule is equal to 1 newton uh, multiplied by 1 meter. It is the amount of a unit per unit newton multiplied by the unit meter. So, kung natatandaan nyo, ito yung force, ito yung displacement. Okay? Yan. So, galing lang yan dito sa formula natin. W or work is equal to force times the displacement. So, hindi distance, ah. displacement. Okay. Yan. So, kaya naging Newton to. So, force 'yan. Ito naman ay 'yan. Okay? Din lang 'yan ang galing. Meaning, 1 joule is equal to 1 newton meter. Okay? So, 'yan yung conversion na 1 joule is equal to 1 newton meter. So, makikita niyo yung kahalagahan niyan kapag nagko-compute na tayo. Okay? So, dapat kapag nagko-compute tayo, kung nakakilo joule yung ating uh, problem ay we need or we must to multi, to to convert the 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 kilojoule into joule para 
makuha natin yung parang merong tayong uh, unit consistency okay dun sa problem so makikita natin yan magsosolve tayo ng problem mamaya okay another conversion is equal to 1 joule is equals to 0.7376 foot pounds so sa British system lang naman to British or the English system so conversion lang po so 1 joule is equals to 0.7376 foot pound or 1 foot pound is equals to 1.356 joule. Okay, conversion lang po yan. If ever na need natin sa problem solving. Okay, the work done by a constant force acting at an angle to the displacement. Ito yung sinasabi ko na laging tatandaan na parallel dapat lagi yung ating force with respect to the displacement or with respect to the motion of the body okay so yan yon so example tayo pakita natin kung paano ba nangyayari yon so halimbawa may tumirik na kotse diyan and yung yung rider so nakikita nyo yung yung rider ay pinagtulak ng babaeng sakay oh kita niyo naman sa picture so yung rider ay <coughs> ang direction ng force niya is is naka naka inclined with the direction of motion. So yan. So alamin natin kung ano yung work na nangyayari diyan na ine-exert noong ating rider doon sa doon sa kotse ano. So yan. Car moves through a displacement S. Ayan, nakikita nyo. So meaning kung nagkaroon ng displacement ay mag merong work diyan and also with my applied force may work diyan, okay? So tanong, ano yung ano yung work diyan? So, while a constant force, so constant force yung in-apply, acts, so tandaan, constant force pa lang muna tayo. So, yan, acts on it at an angle phi. So, angle phi, kita nyo, naka-angle, degree of inclination, yan na yung force diagram natin. To the displacement, okay, yan. So, in-applied niya, nag-displace siya ng amount na yan. So, this vector S or the displacement. So, force is naka-inclined. Okay, sabi ko kanina, dapat kung gusto nyong kunin yung work, ay dapat nakaparallel yung ating force with respect to the displacement. Okay? Okay, so, ang displacement is papunta doon with respect to horizontal. And yung ating applied force is, is, is ano, yung at an angle of P. So, naka-inclined. Okay, so yan yung nakikita nyo yung fee, ano? Meaning, magpo-produce yung ating applied force ng vertical and horizontal component. Okay, so sabi ko kanina, dapat parallel with the, the, with the direction of motion. Kapag kukunin yung work, dapat parallel dito yung force na kukunin natin. So meaning, ito lang yung kailangan natin. So ito. So, wala yung effect dun sa ating work with respect to the motion of the body. Okay? So, F. So, kaya yun nakalagay yan. Yung F perpendicular. Yan. Yung sign na ganyan. Perpendicular yan. F sub perpendicular or the perpendicular force with the displacement does no work on car. So, walang work dyan yung ating perpendicular force or perpendicular component nung applied force nung rider dun sa kotse ano so the only the only f parallel does work on car so w is equals to f parallel multiplied by the displacement or yung s so yung magnitude na tayo so wala na yung ano yung yung arrow sa, sa taas okay so then Para makuha yung F parallel, so naka-incline siya, no? i-cosign natin. So, tinuro ko yan kung bakit cosine and, and sine. So, may may isolated video tayo dyan, okay? Yan. Cosine tayo. So, dapat parallel. Ano ba yung parallel na force dyan? Kung sa ating displacement, siyempre yung ating cosine. F cosine P. Okay? Yan. So, F is equals to W, uh, F multiplied by S. Yan. So, therefore, the W from this illustration, kapag naka-inclined yung ating force, so, Fs cosine P. So, kung natatandaan nyo, ito ay uh, 
naging example or na-encounter na natin in previous chapter. So, ito yung that product of two vectors. Ano? So, si, vec si, si, si force is a vector and si displacement is also a vector. And kapag kinuha natin yung product nyan, so scalar product nyan, so that product ang lalabas dyan. Okay? So, Fs cosine phi. Yan. So, constant force straight line displacement. Ito yung constant ito yung formula for the constant force. So constant dapat yung force, dapat i-consider 'yon. Kapag hindi constant yung force, this formula is not applicable, okay? So constant force and also the the displacement is along a straight line motion. Okay. So work is equals to W is equals to F S cosine P. So yan equation. That equation has the form of the scalar product. So yung pinaliwanag ko na kanina of two vectors which we introduced in section 1.10. So vector A dot vector B is equals to A B cosine P. You may want to review that definition. Hence, we can write equation more compactly as yan work is equals to vector F dot vector S or para makuha natin yung that product nyan so kailangan natin mag uh, scalar product okay constant force and straight line displacement okay so caution lang ano po work is scalar quantity so tandaan yung work is scalar quantity when we say scalar the, the direction of motion is not uh, necessary okay or hindi nakaka-apekto ano so kapag kinuha natin yung total work so so walang epekto yung yung direction nung nung work natin ano so even though yung pinagmo-multiply natin is two vector quantity but then work is still a scalar quantity ano so here's an essential point work is a scalar quantity even though it's calculated by using two vector quantities force and displacement kung natatandaan niyo ano po then a 5 newton force toward the east 5 5 newton force toward the east so papuntang east yung 5 newton force so may work doon kaya lang papuntang east ano po so the east acting on a body that moves 6 meter to the east does exactly the same amount of work as 5 newton force toward the north acting on a body that moves 6 meter to the north Okay, yung 5 newton na in-apply natin to the east na nag-contribute ng 6 meter displacement is also the same as the 5 newton applied toward the north acting on a body that moves 6 meter to the north. So, parehas lang po yun. So, kukunin natin yung total work doon. So, algebra exam lang nung dalawang uh, work. Ano po? So, dahil ang ating work is a scalar quantity. Okay. So, work done by constant force. Example tayo. Steve exerts a steady force of a magnitude 210 newton. So, ito ang tatandaan nyo sa problem. Dapat analyze na mabuti. Ano po? So, steady force meaning yung ating force is constant. Constant force. So, applicable yung ating formula. So, kapag ka hindi na constant force yung in-apply dyan, ay hindi na applicable yung ating formula. Ano po? So, sa mga successive topics na natin yon, Okay? And steady force of magnitude 210 newton ang in-applied of about 47 pounds on the stalled car in figure 6.3. So, yun yung kanina. Ano po? So, as he pushes it a distance 8 meter, the car also has a flat tire. So, to make the car track straight, Steve must push at an angle of 30 degree. So, plat yung tire nung ating ano, nung ating uh, kotse. Therefore, kailangan niyang i-twist yung puwersa para hindi ma mapuwersa yung ating plat tire. Ano? At an angle of 30 degree. Okay? To the direction of motion. De then, yung tanong, how much work does Steve do? Dun sa point na yon ano yung work na na, na in-exert nga? Okay? And letter B, in a helpful mood, Steve pushes a second stall car with a steady force vector F. So, naka-vector form yung ating force. Is equals to 160 newton I hat minus 40 newton J hat. The displacement of the car is 
is vector s or the the displacement ano with naka vector form again 14 meter i hat plus 11 meter j hat how much work does steve do in this case so ano ano naman daw yung work kapag ganyan okay so unahin natin is yung letter a yung unang tanong but before that ay i-visualize natin kung kung kaya nating i-visualize or i-imagine ay mas mabuti ano pero mas maganda interpret natin then ilipat natin dun sa ating drawing so yan lang yung kanina so yung force is naka-inclined okay and may displacement tayo ng ganap so yan okay so unang tanong ano yung for ano yung work kapag uh, Uh, 210 newton constant force yung inapply natin okay constant force yung inapply natin dun sa kotse inapply ni steve rather okay so 18 meter yung ating displacement so yung value ng s is is equals to 18 18 meters okay so yan so direct substitution lang dun sa ating formula w is equals to fs cosine p So, ang constant force is 210. So, applied. 210 newton multiplied by 18 meter cosine 30 degree. So, dito lang. Ito lang yung mag-e-effect. Uh, Iyan lang yung mag-e-effect dun sa ating uh, work. Okay? So, kaya nagkaroon yan. Fs cosine P. So, yung S. Uh, yan yung magnitude ng ating vector S. Which is 18 meter 18 meters. Okay? So, therefore, ang sagot dyan, kung itatype natin sa kalkuyan, is 3.3 times 10 cube joule. Okay? Why joule? Dahil newton meter, 1 newton meter is equal to 1 joule. So, yun, natatandaan nyo yung kanina. Ano po? So, letter B, next question. Paano naman kapag yung force natin is in vector form? So, ganito lang yan. So, kukunin natin yung dot product. So, tandaan nyo, yung work is a dot product or the scalar product of the vector force and the displacement S. Okay? So, yun lang. Applied lang ulit natin. And as we we remember, that the, the, the scalar product of vector A and vector B is equals to A sub X times B sub X plus A sub Y times B sub Y plus A sub C times B sub C. Ito yung general formula nung dot product natin kapag ang given is vector form. Okay? So, yung A sub X, then yung A, X component ni A and B sub X. So, tandaan nyo na yan, Yung Y component. So, yung lahat ng may subscript na Y. Okay? So, apply natin. So, so ang magiging A sub X dyan, yung ating ito ito yung magiging a okay ito naman ito naman yung magiging b natin okay yan so yung f sub y natin and s sub y is zero wala namang direction papuntang y axis eh wala namang direction walang displacement no walang direction of motion papuntang y axis so therefore ang magre-remain lang ay yung ating motion with respect to the x-axis so yung fx lang okay yan so ang mayayari is is 160 newton uh, 160 newton uh, ito yung oh so, sorry uh, giniben pala may j hat tayo so, meaning may meron tayong uh, y Uh, with respect to y ano so kaya mawala lang yung a sub c okay yan a sub c so yung force natin okay so yan naman ay example lang ano po so yan so fx f sub x multiplied by x component so f f f sub x natin is 160 newton ito yon and yung x is 14 newton Okay, so yan yung B sub X natin Yan yung magiging B sub X natin dito sa formula Okay, yan And plus yung F sub Y times Y So A, Y, B, Y yan Okay, napalitan lang ng F sub Y, Y Okay, so ang F, Y dito is negative 40 Yan, negative 40 Ayan siya And 11. So, correspondingly yung ating pag-multiply. Ano po? Ayan. 
So, by simply typing it into calculator, makukuha natin yung sagot, which is equals to 1.8 times 10 cube joule. Okay? Yan. Joule. So, yun. So, work is positive, negative, or zero. So, kailan ba nagiging positive ang work? Kailan ba nagiging negative ang work? Kailan ba nagiging zero? So, diniscuss ko na, na-mention ko na to kanina, no, a while ago. So, briefly, na-mention ko na ito. So, paliwanag pa natin ng mas maigi. So, kailan positive? Positive ang work kapag uh, yung applied force is along with the direction of motion. So, papunta yung motion is papunta dito. So, yung applied force is dapat papunta din dito para maging positive yung force. So, tandaan, yung, yung, yung sign na positive and negative is not the direction of work. Okay? So, that signifies only the, the, that the, the applied force is, is, is opposite to the direction of the displacement kapag negative. Okay? Yan. Kapag along with the direction of the displacement, positive yung work natin. Okay? So, gaya nung scalar product natin, or yung the dot product natin so in the in the in the direction yung ating negative sign doon ang ibig sabihin ng negative sign doon ay the, the applied force or the, the the first vector is opposite with the direction of the second vector so just like here in work computation the applied force is opposite with the direction of motion kapag negative okay so, ganito yung force diagram niya. So, along with the direction of, of motion siya. No? So, yan. So, therefore, work is positive. Okay, kailan negative? So, kanina, sabi ko na. So, papunta dito ang motion. Ang applied force is pasalungat. So, anong halimbawa niyan? Kapag yung ating sinasakyang kotse ay biglang nagpreno. Yung, yung brake nag-apply ng force dun sa ating tire. And habang nananakbo, ay magko-contribute yun ng opposite force para mag-slow yung motion nito. Para mag-slow yung motion, mag-oppose yung ating in-applied na force uh, by, by, by means of brake. Ano? So yan, ang tendency ng block is to move slowly and hanggang sa tumigil siya at zero. Okay? At rest. So yung force diagram niya, yung motion niya, ito yun papunta pa rin doon but the force applied is opposite therefore the the work is negative or the fs cosine p multiplied by s is negative okay ngayon kailan naman nagiging zero so kapag perpendicular yung ating force with the direction of motion so 90 degree okay so kung natatandaan niyo yung scalar product dati ay zero kapag 90 degree yung uh, yung angle between ng dalawang vector okay so yun yun therefore no work here okay kapag perpendicular tanda yun so example tayo or illustration so a weightlifter so, does no work on a barber as long as he holds it is stationary so binuhat niya yung ating barbell binuhat niya yung barbell and hinold niya stationary hindi niya binaba hindi niya tinaas hindi niya inilakad hindi niya inatras so meaning walang work na mangyayari doon dahil walang displacement okay the weightlifter exerts an upward force on the barbell but there is no displacement ano dahil stationary niyang hinold okay but because the barbell is stationary stationary its displacement is what zero so meaning kahit nag-apply siya ng force multiply niya sa displacement na zero then there is no work on it okay so yan ngayon kapag ang um, barbell ay ibinaba a weightlifter lowers a barbell to the floor yan so magkakaroon na tayo ng displacement and also may applied force pa din dyan ano so, ang tanong nga lang sa atin is, ano ba yung hahanapan natin uh, ng work? Yung bang barbell na nag-e-exert ng force doon sa kamay ng ating weightlifter? Or yung kamay ng weightlifter 
na nag-e-exert ng force doon sa barbell. So kung natatandaan nyo, yung third law of motion, dapat may dalawang body doon para magkaroon ng action and re reaction. Ano? Third law of motion, ayan yun. No? So vector F, the force hands on the barbell. So yung force na in-exert ng hands doon sa barbell, so yan yun. And magko-contribute siya ng force na negative force barbell on hands naman. Okay? So, action and reaction. Equal magnitude but opposite direction. Okay? Ayan. So, the weightlifter does positive work on the weightlifter. So, so kung nakikita nyo, dalawa yung body dyan, di ba? Dalawa yung body. Dalawa yung, yung, mag, yung nag interact dyan. Yung kamay nung, nung weightlifter and yung mismong barbell. So, why? Why, why nag interact sila? Kasi yung, yung kamay nag nag sa dun sa barbell. And yung weight lift, yung, yung ating barbell ay dahil may gravitational pull ay nagko-contribute siya ng normal force or yung force, gravitational force pababa. Okay? So, i-isolate natin yung una. Ang i-consider muna natin is yung tao, yung weight lifter. Alsin si barbell. Di ba may maiiwan dyan force ng barbell on hands. Okay? Which is directly downward. Okay? So, the barbell does positive work on the weightlifter's hands. Okay? Yung barbell. Yung barbell ang nag-work doon. Sa kamay noong weightlifter. So, meaning, yung force dito ay yung force na ini-exert ni barbell doon sa kamay ng ating weightlifter. So, kapag yan ang i-multiply natin dun sa displacement, positive work yung ating makukuha. Okay? Dahil ang direction talaga ng ating barbell is pababa. So, meaning yung force ng ating barbell na ine-exert ng barbell doon sa kamay, okay, doon sa kamay noong, noong weightlifter is pababa. And that is along with the direction of the motion, meaning the, the, the work will be positive. Okay, the force of the barbell on the weightlifter's hands is in the same direction as the hand's displacement, meaning the work is positive. Okay, so ang inanalyze natin don is yung yung barbell ano yung barbell na na nagwo-work na nagdas ng work doon. Okay, so next is analyze naman natin ano yung work naman na ineexert noong kamay noong noong weightlifter. Okay, kamay naman. Ibig sabihin, ang tanong dito ay ano yung ano yung work na in, na ginawa noong kamay nung weightlifter. So, tanggalin si ka, si tao. So, itira yung ating uh, weightlifter. Ang ang pa, ma, ang matitira diyan is yung para para ma-isolate natin yung pre-body diagram natin. Ang matitira diyan is yung force nung hands. Yan kung nakikita nyo yung force ng hands on the barbell yung yung pwersang inexert nung nung kamay dun sa barbell meaning ang magwo-work na dito is yung yung kamay na so kanina dito ay ang nag-work ay yung barbell kasi due to the gravitational pull okay yan yun and dito naman so pataas siya yun yung pwersang inia-applied noong noong uh, kamay ng ating weightlifter So meaning eh, itong pwersang to is against with the direction of motion meaning the, the work here is negative work here is negative okay nakikita nyo the force of the weightlifter's hands on the barbell is opposite to the barbell's displacement meaning the weightlifters do negative work on the barbell okay so natatandaan dapat alamin nyo kung alin ba yung yung i-compute natin na work yung kung aling force yung i-compute natin ng work okay kung aling force so yung displacement nandiyan lang naman yan ang tanong yung force alin yung i-analyze nating force yung bang force na ina-apply ng unang body which is the barbell or yung pangalawang body which is yung tao yung weightlifter okay so wag kayong mako-confuse ha dapat i-analyze ng mabuti ano ba yung force na nag na nag ko uh, nagpo-provide ng work. Okay? Yan. So caution lang, keep track of who's doing the work. So yun yun yung sinasabi ko ano. Alamin niyo or i-analyze niyo kung 
kung alin ba yung nagdodo ng ating work. Keep track of who's doing the work, okay? We always speak of work done on a particular body by a specific force. A specific force meaning dapat may specified force tayo na i-analyze. Ano? Specified force na i-analyze. Always be sure to specify exactly that force is doing the work you are talking about. So, alam natin kung alin force yon Gaya nung kanina, no? So, ito yon Gaya nung kanina, alin bang force yung i-analyze natin? Yung gravitational pull ba? With respect to the displacement? Or yung, yung pwersa, pwersang ibinigay nung kamay nung tao with respect to the displacement S. So, opposite na yun, ano Pag yung sa tao, pag yung gravitational pull ay along with the direction. So, positive work and negative work siya. Okay? So, yun yun. When you lift a book, book, you exert an upward force on the book and book's displacement is upward. Okay? So, the work done by the lifting force on the book is positive. Positive siya dahil yung upward force is along with the direction of motion. Tama? But the work done by the gravitational force, weight, yan. Yung gravitational force na na nag-aak dun sa book natin, yan, sa book natin, is downward, okay? Downward. Pero yung motion natin is pataas, meaning yung, yung direction ng gravitational force on the book being lifted is negative work, okay? Because the downward gravitational force force is opposite to the upward displacement. So, tandaan lagi ha. So, kailan magne-negative yung ating work kapag uh, opposite yung direction ng ating uh, force with respect to the the displacement. Okay? Yan. So, total work. Paano kinocompute ang total work? So, scalar quantity yan. Algebra exam lang tayo. Ano? How do we calculate work when several forces act on a body? So, madaming force na nag-a-act. Constant forces acting on a body. So, paano i-calculate yung ating work? So, algebraic sum lang ng ating work yan. It is the algebraic sum of the quantities of work done by the individual forces. So, walang kaso dyan yung ating negative, positive, ganyan-ganyan. Wala. Uh, scalar quantity yung ating work. So, meaning, pwede, pwede natin siya kunin using algebra exam. The total work or the summation of work done by the several forces a constant forces is equal to the algebra exam of the quantities of work. Okay? So, the another way to, to find the total work is uh, to find the total work is to compute the vector sum. So, alam natin yan. Yung vector sum, that is the resultant force. Ano? Resultant force. So, vector sum ay, so, hindi lang basta yan ay plus, plus, plus. Ano? So, hindi yan pwedeng algebra exam lang. Pag kinuha natin ng vector sum, kailangan natin i-apply yung rules. Uh, uh, to, yung rules kapag nagdi-deal tayo ng, ng vector quantity ano, forces. That is the net force. O, yun yung net force. And then, use this vector sum as vector F in equation. Doon sa equation natin na uh, F times the displacement. Okay. Yan. So, example tayo, work done by several forces. Constant forces yan. Okay? So, a farmer hitches her tractor to a sled loaded with a firewood and pulls it a distance of 20 meter. So, meron daw magsasaka, may tractor siya, hinihila yung paragos, kumbaga, sled na may karga-kargang firewood. Yung mga kahoy, ano? And, hinihila niya. And, nahila niya sa distance na 20 meters along a level ground. So, meaning horizontal motion ito, a straight line, 20 meter level ground. Okay? The total weight of sled and the load is 14,700 14, newton. Yun yung bigat ng ating sled, yung paragos, and yung load mismo ng at yung mga kahoy. You know? So, sum up na yun. So, the tractor exerts a constant 5,000 newton force. Constant 5,000 newton force. So, kung natatandaan nyo, 5, 000, yung pag nag-apply nag, uh, tayo ng constant force sa isang body, so, magko-contribute yung constant force na yun ng constant acceleration. Ano? So, second law of motion. 
natin ang mangyayari doon. Second law of Newton's law. Okay? Newton's second law of motion ang apply natin dito. No? Okay? So, force at an angle of 36.9 degree above the horizontal. So, hindi 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 parallel yung ating in-applied ng force. Hindi directly parallel applied force na yung in-apply noong ating magsasaka yung farmer. Ano? Above the horizontal. Then, a 3,500 Newton friction force. Oy, sinamahan pa niya ng friction force. Opposes the sled's motion. So, tama naman. Yung paragos natin ay hindi digulong. So, meaning, dapat i-consider natin yung ating frictional force. That frictional force must not be neglected. Okay? Find the work. Tanong ha. Find the work done by its force acting on the sled and the total work done by all the forces. So, dalawa yung tanong. Work done by the by its force acting on the sled and the total work done by all the forces. So, yung total work na kinukuha natin yan, yung W tot, W tot, and yung, yung isa naman, yung W, W due to weight, W due to the normal force, W due to the friction, ganun yun. Yun yung, yun yung work done by each force. Okay? So, dalawang method yung sinasabi, ano, na pwedeng gamitin uh, pagkuha ng total work. Una is using the only the algebra exam of the the works and the the alternative way is to find the vector sum or the resultant or the net force and then then then, then use it to substitute in the the basic formula or the, the general formula for work which is force times distance or the force times displacement. Yun. So, unahin natin yung una. Okay? So, ganito yung illustration. Ano? Again, sa pagsasolve ng problem, dapat ay analyze natin mabuti. Hindi mali-mali yung ating pag-analyze. Gaya nito, yung pina ito, yung angle na yan. Kung nilagay nyo na yan dun sa kabila, mali na yung, uh, yung magiging sagot nyo. Okay? Dapat na-analyze nyo mabuti yung isang problem. Kahit, kasi kahit gaano kayo kagaling mag-solve, kung mali yung interpretation nyo dun sa ating problem, ay wala ding kwenta ano po so dapat alam natin kung paano i-analyze yung ating uh, isosolve na problem okay so yan yung tractor hinihila niya yung ating sled may kargang uh, kahoy and naka-incline ng 36.9 degree above the horizontal so above the horizontal ibig sabihin ito yon kung below the horizontal pag ganyan yung angle natin ay above the horizontal siya so ito siya Okay? So, trigonometry lang po yun. So, ito yung free body diagram. Next nating ma-interpret. So, ilipat natin sa free body diagram. Ang free body diagram, yan yung diagram na kung saan nandyan yung ating mga forces. Forces na nag apply Alin ba ang lagawa natin ng free body diagram dyan? Ito lang ating sled. Kasi yan lang naman yung tinatanong. Okay? Sled. Okay? So, Yung sled, i-treat natin as a particle. Okay. Treat natin as a particle. Ano yung mga forces na mag-a-act sa, sa sled na yan? So, unahin natin is, syempre, meron niyang weight. Ano? Weight. May bigat yan eh. Na mag-a-act doon. Ano? Hinihila yan ng gravitational pull. Na ang equivalent yan ay yung total na bigat niyan. And given yon 14,700 newton. So, yan yung weight natin. Directly downward. Okay, lagay natin sa sa free body diagram. Another, alin ba yung alin pa yung mag aact dyan dun sa sled, sled natin? Alin ba yung alin ba pa yung mga forces na mag aact dyan? So, sinabi na wala namang gulong yan eh. So, friction force opposes the sled's motion. So, consider natin yung 3500 newton na force na nag-oppose dun sa ating uh, direction of motion. Ano? So, yun yung ating frictional force, 3,500 newton. So, bakit pakaliwa yung ating direction? Dahil ang motion natin is papunta dun eh. Motion natin is papunta dun, pakanan. And sabi ko dun sa ating rules for friction, the friction is always opposite with the direction of motion. Kapag nagmumove yung ating body. Okay? Okay, yan. 
Alin pa. Alin pa yung mag-a-up dyan. So, naka, nasa ground ito, meaning merong, yung ground magko-contribute ng normal force para hindi mahulog. Hindi naman, kasi kung walang ground dyan, malalaglag yan pa ilalim. Ay may ground dyan, yan, yan, may ground dyan. Meaning, yan ay, yung ground magko-contribute ng normal force doon sa ating uh, sled and together with the load. Okay? Yun yung normal force. Okay? Directly perpendicular to the plane of motion. Okay? Directly perpendicular to the plane. Okay? So, yan yung normal force. Okay? Yan. So, hindi, hindi siya pababa ha? So, pag pababa ay malalaglag yan. So, dapat pataas. Okay? Yung normal force. Okay? Yan. Alin pa yung mag a dyan? Yung kadena. Yun, no? Yung kadena yun. Okay? And that is equal to 5,000 in states of problem. Tractor exerts a constant 5,000 newton force. Okay? Ito yun. And naka-incline with respect to the horizontal. Above the horizontal, naka-incline ng 36.9 degree. Okay? Yan. Ilagay natin sa pre-body diagram natin. So, yan yun. 5,000 newton. Incline, 36 degree, 0.9 degree. And also, yung motion natin, siyempre, lagi natin lalagay yung motion natin. Kung may given dyang acceleration, ilalagay natin yan kung pasaan niya ang acceleration na yan. Kasi, kapag may given acceleration, meaning constant acceleration siya, so, nag-move siya. Ano? Uh, maliban na lang kung yung ating acceleration or the velocity is constant. And kapag yung velocity is constant, the acceleration is equal to zero. And kapag yung acceleration is equal to zero, then that would be in equilibrium uh, state. Okay? So, hindi siya gumagalaw. Okay? Yan. So, walang net force kapag ganun. Okay? Review lang po yun. Ano? Alin pa yung force na, na nag-a-up dyan sa ating sled? So, kung mapapansin nyo, lahat ay nandiyan na. The normal force, the weight, the frictional force, and the force, constant force applied by the tractor, and the degree of inclination, and the distance or the displacement, 20 meters. So, nandiyan na. Wala nang tayong nalilimutan. So, dapat ay lahat ay nandiyan. Kasi kung magkulang tayo ng isa, ba, yung friction force ay hindi natin naisama, ay sorry, pero mali na yung ating magiging sagot dyan, okay? Ultimo yung kahit yung direction nito, nagkamali tayo ng direction sa halip na papunta doon, papunta doon ang nagawa natin, ay mali pa rin yung ating direction. We have to be careful. Ano? We need to be careful solving this uh, particular problem. Solving any problem rather. Ano? Na dapat ay careful tayo. Paano natin makukuha, maku, ma, makukuha, maa-achieve yung carelessness. Ah, yung hindi carelessness. Ano? Maging hindi careless. Uh, dapat maging, yung, yung, dapat maging careful tayo. Ano? So, paano natin makukuha yun? Mag-solve tayo na mag-solve ng mga problem. Okay? I-train natin ang i-train yung ating calculator and yung ating ball pen. Okay? So, para din naman sa atin yan. Ano? So, kailangan natin to So, sa civil engineering, kailangan natin yan. Magaling tayo dyan. Dahil yung mga forces na nag a sa ating building ay dapat alam nating i-analyze and alam nating ipatong o isakay doon sa ating building. Okay? Alam nating itulak, ilagay yung ating mga pwersa. Ano? Yung mga lateral loads, mga vertical loads. Dapat alam natin. Ano? So, ito yung training ground natin. Itong P6. Ano? Yan. So, balik tayo sa problem, ano? Yan. So, yan yung pre-body diagram. So, ang tanong is yung, yung total work and the, the, the work by, exerted by each forces, ano? So, yan. So, W tot or W sub tot or the total work is equals to W due to weight. Yan yun. Ito yun. W due to weight. W or the work due to the normal force. And weight, or oh, uh, sorry, work due the due to the tension force exerted by the 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 tractor or yung kadena, no? And the the work due to friction. Yan yung its forces na nag-aak. Yan normal force, frictional force, 
tension and the weight. Apat lang yung kwersang humihila dyan. Na nag-a-act dyan dun sa ating sled. Okay? So, alamin natin yan kung ano-ano yan. And then, by by summing up those, we will get the, the total work. Okay? So, kasi scalar quantity yan. So, pwede natin pag-sum-sum-sum-sum it. Yan. Okay? Yan. Okay? So, yung W, yung work due to weight, is equal to ay bakit naging zero dahil ang direction natin ay papunta doon so 14,700 multiplied with the direction parallel, parallel dapat ay wala namang paggalaw papunta doon eh okay so 20 meter horizontally okay so sabi kanina pag perpendicular perpendicular yan zero yung ating work okay yan so again So, kapag perpendicular yung ating force dun sa ating direction, so, zero yung ating work. Okay? Ayan. So, so, next, the work due to the normal force. So, perpendicular na naman siya dun sa ating motion. Okay? So, zero na naman siya. Okay? So, next is W or the work due to the, ten, the tractor. Ito yon Ito yon Kung nakikita nyo, yan yon Okay? Ito yun. Yan, yun yung W. So, 5,000 Newton. Naka-36.9 naka degree inclination siya. So, alin ba yung mag-contribute ng work dyan? With respect to the motion. Na nag-displace ng 20 meter. So, sabi ko kanina, dapat parallel. Okay? Parallel. So, itong, itong, itong 5,000 Newton na yan, mag-contribute yan ng perpendicular dito. And parallel dito parallel dun sa ating 20 meters okay ito ang perpendicular sabi ko wala yang kwenta hindi yan kailangan okay the only need is the parallel component so 5000 cosine ng 36.9 degree yan yon okay, type nyo sa calcio 5000 uh, cosine ng 36.9 degree okay multiplied by 20 meter. Okay, so dapat naka-newton na. Dapat naka-newton ang ating unit. Kung nakakilo newton yan, just convert it into newton. Okay? There is 1000 newton in 1 kilo newton. Okay? So conversion lang yon. Dapat i-convert natin. And yung ating mga distance or yung displacement natin dapat naka-meter. Ha? Convert na kung naka-kilometer yan, kung naka-miles yan, kung naka-feet yan, convert it to the the SI unit meters ano so kung ang pinapahanap sa atin is joule okay joule meter per second square mga ganyan okay convert natin dapat may con unit consistency tayo ha okay okay so 80 80 kilo joule 80 kilo joule yung makukuha natin doon so 5000 cosine ng 36.9 degree multiply by 20 meter So, makukuha niyong sagot dyan is newton meter. And that is equal to joule. Okay, joule. So, kinonvert lang ng kilo joule. No, para mas kakunti yung susulat. So, dinivide lang, one, divide 1,000. Yung makukuha niyo dito, divide 1,000 lang. So, 80 kilo joule. Next, alin pa yung magwa-work dyan? Work due to friction force. Ito yon Yung 3,5. Okay. So, since against the direction of uh, motion, yung ating 3,5, yung frictional force, so negative. Negative siya. Okay? Negative 70 kJ. So, 3, yun, yung 70 na yan, kJ na yan, nakuha lang yan, 3,500 newton multiplied by the displacement, which is 20 meters. So, 7,000 yan, di ba? So, convert natin sa kJ. So, there is 1,000 joule in 1 kJ. So, We have to divide it by 1,000. So, 7,000, 70,000 kilojoule, ah, oh, 70,000 joule divided by 1,000 is equal to 70 kilojoule. Okay? Then, calculate, using calculator, makukuha natin is 10 kilojoule. Yan yung ating total work. Okay? So, C, nakuha na natin yung force or the work Uh, exerted by its forces and also nakuha na din natin yung ating total work okay nasagot 
nasagot na agad natin yung dalawang tanong. So, try natin yung alternative way. Alternative way dyan is using the vector sum or the net force. So, gamitin natin itong formula ng ito. Ano? Ito yung net force and ito yung displacement. Ito yung ating target makuha. Yung net force. And yung net force na yan is pinag-aralan na natin yan last time. Ano? Last discussion, mga last discussion natin, last topics natin, pinag-aralan na natin yan, simula at simula pa. Vector sum, resultant, uh, net force, sa Newton's laws of motion, yan yun. Okay? So, paano kunin yan? So, summation of fx and summation of fy lang. Yan. Kapag, ba, kapag we are dealing in the xy plane lang, ano? Summation of fx and summation of fy. Okay? But the summation of Fy here is not uh, necessary, ano, is not, is not needed. Hindi kailangan dahil wala namang displacement papunta doon or papunta dito. And also, wala din namang acceleration papunta doon, papunta dito. The only, the only displacement or the, uh, the only motion here is uh, with respect to the horizontal which is displaced at 20 meters, okay? So, summation of F sub X lang yung ating kailangan. Okay? Ano po? Yan. So, summation of F sub X. Okay. Alin ba yung mga forces dyan with respect to the horizontal? So, unahin natin yung 5,000 Newton. Ano yung X component nyan? So, para makuha yung X component nyan, 5,000 Newton cosine P. Okay? Ito yon 5,000 Newton cosine P. Ano yung direction? Positive o negative? So, uh, ang ating positive is along with the direction of motion. So, kapag papunta dito, along with the direction of motion siya. So, positive yan. So, FT cosine P. So, positive siya. Okay? Next is the... Ano, ano pa yung force na with respect to the horizontal dyan? yung ating 3,500 newton na nag-o-oppose dun sa motion. Okay? So, nag-oppose siya dun sa motion meaning yung, kanya, yung ating force dyan is negative. Okay? So, negative frictional force. Okay? Substitution, 5,000 newton cosine 36.9 degree minus 3,5 newton. So, yung makukuha nating sagot dyan, yan yung net force with respect to the horizontal. Okay? With the respect to horizontal. So, 500 Newton. Okay, 500 Newton. So, try natin kunin pa din. So, just to to practice lang, uh, try natin kunin yung F sub Y. So, FT sin ng P plus normal force. Alin, yung, mga, yung mga force na nag a with the respect to vertical axis natin. So, FT sin ng P, ito yung, yung vertical force na na kukunokontribute niyang 5,000 N. Yun yun. Okay? FT sign ng P plus ano pa yung normal force and yung downward force the gravitational force which is 14,700 so negative siya downward siya okay so kunin natin yan uh, bakit hindi na okay hindi na kailangan to hindi na yan kailangan kasi ang motion natin is along with the direction of uh, X axis lang so walang paggalaw with the respect to the Y axis ha so hindi na natin kailangan to Okay, so kailangan na lang natin is yung 500 Newton lang. Okay, 500 Newton lang. Substitution, 500 Newton multiplied by 20 meters is equal to 10,000 Newton meter. So, kung convert natin sa kilojoule ay 10 kilojoule. So, 10,000 10, joule is also correct. So, minsan kasi hinahanap sa sa problem yung ano ba ang tanong is total work in kilojoule total total work in joule total work in megajoule mga ganun ganun ano po ayan so ano next is the kinetic energy ano ba yung kinetic energy and the work energy theorem so kinetic energy it is the energy in motion kapag hindi gumagalaw yung isang bagay walang kinetic energy and that kinetic energy is the one half mb squared term okay one half 
multiplied by the mass of the body times the velocity. Kasi energy in motion siya eh. Energy in motion. Kung may motion, meron tayong velocity or the speed. Okay? So, ito yung ating definition of kinetic energy. One half mb squared. So, tandaan na yan. Yan yung kinetic energy natin. So, kapag nagmumove yung ating uh, ating uh, body, okay? So, work energy theorem naman, the work done by the net force on a particle equals to the change in the particle's kinetic energy. So, change in kinetic energy is equal to the total work. Yung pinag-uusapan natin kanina pa, yung total work na yan, is also equal to the change in kinetic energy. Delta K. From point 1 to point 2, there is a kinetic energy when the body is in motion. Okay? So, the kinetic energy from point 2, eh, kailangan natin ibawas, bawasan ng kinetic energy from point 1 para makuha yung total work. And this, this equation... Uh, is equal is the work energy theorem natin okay so napakahalaga nito mahalaga itong formula na ito yan yung theorem na yan dahil minsan kasi hindi natin makuha yung uh, may mga problem na hindi kayang kunin uh, yung mga tinatanong uh, using yung ating mga formula nung nakaraan lang okay using yung mga concept nung nakaraan lang hindi kayang kunin so kailangan natin applyan ng uh, work energy to rem ano yan so paano ba nakuha yan so let's say paano ba nakuha yon paano ba napag-aralan mga pieces yan na equal yun doon ano yung mga energy to rem na yan okay so let's say we, we we have a block so we body having a mass and by exerting a constant net force mangyayari diyan nagalaw yan nagmo-move yung body na yan okay and there is a velocity Magkakaroon ng velocity 1 And velocity 2 yan Dahil may constant force tayong ini-apply eh. And kapag constant force yung ini-apply natin Magko-contribute yun ng constant acceleration And yung constant acceleration na yun Magko-contribute ulit ng, ng B sub 1 and B sub 2 And i-co-contribute niya is, is, is Hindi constant speed But the speed or the uh, the constant acceleration contributes a constant change change in in the velocity equal rate ano per equal time interval okay so therefore magkakaroon ng b1 and b sub 2 dyan okay yan and dahil may inapply time force and nagmo-move yung ating ating body so magkakaroon ng displacement Yung x sub 2 minus x sub 1 That would be equal to at Dun sa ating uh, Displacement S Okay So yan So Paano nakuha yung work energy theorem Using that illustration Okay So mag umpisa dun tayo sa Formula ng work Pamula dun sa pinakasimple Work is equals to force times this displacement Okay Yan So ang target natin is I-impose natin itong velocity At saka yung ating mass Doon sa ating formula Okay So paano yon So dapat yung force natin Is in terms of mass And velocity Nama? Okay Kunin natin So using the second law of motion So second law of motion yan Kasi constant force yung ina-apply natin Magko-contribute yan ng constant acceleration so, kung, kung, kung nag-apply ka ng constant force dyan at hindi gumalaw yung body, so, pasok dun sa first law of motion. So, walang second law of motion dun. So, nasa second law of motion tayo. In motion yung body natin. Okay? Then, then ang ating gagamitin is force is equals to mass times acceleration with respect to x-axis. So, yun yung ating second law of motion. Okay? So, ang target natin is is ipasok dito sa formulang to yung ating mass and velocity. So, meron na tayong mass. So, yung acceleration naman. <clears throat> so, yung acceleration is in terms of B dapat. So, paano makukuha yan? So, using our constant acceleration formula. So, you can see that the, the formula in the last topic, last, last, last topic ay talagang napakahalaga. Ano po? Ayan. 
So dapat talagang kabisadong kabisado natin yung mga constant acceleration formulas natin na, na, natin na yan. When we are dealing the constant acceleration motion. Okay? Bakit constant acceleration? Constant force yung in-apply. Magko-contribute yan ng constant acceleration. Then therefore, we can apply the constant acceleration formula. Okay? Yung apat. Tandaan nyo yun. Yung apat. So yan yun. So, yung formula na pwede natin i-apply dyan para ilagay natin yung acceleration in terms of B or velocity and time is yan, yung B sub, yung dati yan, itong B sub 2 na yan, yan yung B sub X. And ito yung, yung B sub 1 na yan, yung B sub OX yan. Okay? And yung acceleration, yan na yan, A sub OX yan, and uh, A sub X yan, and yung S natin na yan, Yaan yung x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay? So, yan yung constant acceleration na i-apply natin dito sa pagkuha ng work energy theorem. So, apply. So, then, uh, kailangan lang natin kunin yung acceleration in terms of velocity and time. So, yan yun. B sub 2 squared minus B sub 1 squared over 2s. Okay, 2S uh, Rather in, in terms of displacement pala Okay, sorry, hindi in terms of time siya So, yung S Ay, yan yung displacement natin Okay, displacement S yung X sub 2 minus X sub 1 Okay, so nailagay na natin yung acceleration In terms of velocity and displacement So, pasok natin itong 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 term na to doon Okay so, mass times acceleration. So, magiging ganito na yung ating formula. Mass times B sub 2 squared minus B sub 1 squared over 2S. So, force pa lang yan. So, paano na, para makuha yung work natin, yung work natin, we have to multiply it by S. So, makakansel lang yung S na yan. And the, the, the equation for work will be equal to 1 half MB squared, MB sub 2 squared minus 1 half MB 1 squared. Okay, so matatanggal lang yung S na yan. So, algebra lang magiging ganito yung ating equation. And as we notice, the, this term is equal to the kinetic energy. And also, this term is also the kinetic energy uh, from different points. Okay, kinetic energy from point 2 and then kinetic energy from point 1. Okay, so... Ito yung ating uh, work energy theorem. So, kaya na-derive. Ito namang work na ito, yung Fs na yan, equal to work yan. So, then therefore, na-derive na natin yung ating work energy theorem. So, W tot, W sub tot, is equals to K sub 2 minus K sub 1, or the delta K. Delta K, that is the change in kinetic energy from one point to another. Okay. So, ano ba yung unit ng ating kinetic energy? So, kinetic energy ay joule lang din. So, paano natin papatunayan na yung 1 joule is also a kinetic energy? So, di ba? Ang, ang 1 joule is equals to 1 newton meter. Tama yan. Work yan. So, paano naman patunayan na yung kinetic energy is equal to the 1 joule? So, ito mass, di ba? Mass. Ito yung mass natin. And ito yung uh, uh, force ito. Force, sorry. Force ito. Force times displacement. Force des times displacement. And that force is kilogram meter per second square. Newton yan. Ito yun. Then S multiplied by S. And that 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 term will be equal to 1 kilogram meter squared over second squared so makikita nyo uh, ito is equal to doon okay so nagigets nyo so 1 kilogram meter squared over second squared is equal to 1 joule also okay yan <coughs> Yeah. 
So, from British system, so, ang standard unit for mass sa British system ay slug, ha? Tandaan nyo. Sa SI system naman, kilogram. Okay, conversion lang po yan. 1 foot pound is equals to 1 foot pound slug feet per second square. Conversion lang din. Patunay lang na yung ating kinetic energy is in also, is also the unit of work. Okay? Yan. So, example tayo using work and energy to calculate speed. So, balik tayo dun sa problem kanina. Tractor hinihila yung ating sled and yung, yung karga niyang kahoy. So, yun pa rin yung pre-body diagram niya. Kung natatandaan nyo, yung total work dyan is 10 kilo joule. 10 kilo joule. So, nilagyan lang natin ng velocity. Yung velocity at point 1 eh, is equal to 2.0 meter per second. And yung velocity at point 2, yun yung tinatanong. So, kailangan natin i-apply yung ating work energy theorem. So, as you can see, hindi natin pwedeng kunin yan using the previous formula. Kailangan talaga natin applyan at ang ating work energy theorem. So, yung work, total work is equals to the change in kinetic energy. Okay? Yan. Nag-displace yan ng 20 meter. So, kailangan natin i-apply. Work energy theorem. Yan. So, that is equal to 10 kJ. Yan yung nakuha natin kanina. So, yung work from point 1 to point 2 is equals to 10 kJ. Hindi naman nagbago yung displacement. 20 meters pa din. Okay? So, 10 kJ. So, and the K sub 2 is equals to 1 half mb squared. Tama? And the K sub 1 or the kinetic energy at point 1 is 1 half mb sub 1 squared. So, ito yung point 1 natin. Ito yung point 2. And the change in kinetic energy from point 1 to point 2 is equal to the what? The total work. Okay? The total work. So, kailangan natin to Ito. 1 half mb squared. Kunin natin uh, yung kinetic energy at point 1. So, given lahat dyan. So, makukuha natin yung value nyan. Given yung mass. Given yung velocity which is 2 meter per second. So, makukuha na natin yung kinetic energy at point 1. So so ang given din is 14,700 newton yung weight. So para makuha yung mass, di ba? Weight is equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Tama? So yun yun. So para makuha naman yung mass, we have to divide the weight by acceleration due to gravity which is equals to 9.8 meter per second square. So, 14,000 divided by 9.8 is equals to 1,500 kilogram. So, tandaan dapat, kapag nagamit tayo ng ganyan, dapat yung force natin is in newton and lahat ng mga length is in meter, lahat ng time is in seconds. Tama. Dapat ganun ha. Hindi pwedeng kilo newton yan. Hindi pwedeng mega newton. Dapat naka newton. Ha? Unit consistency, pinag-aralan natin yan sa mga nangunang topic. Okay? So, mass natin dyan, yung mass nung ating sled and together with the the lag, yung yung mga kahoy, ano, 1,500 kg. So, direct substitution doon. Okay? Doon sa mass. And yung velocity natin, ayun. So, then we will get, we can get the, the kinetic energy at point 1 is equals to 3,000 joule. Ayun siya. 3,000 joule. Okay? So, yun yung kinetic energy. Pero, ang tanong dyan, target value natin dyan is yung V sub 2. So, paano makuha yan? So, so, yung K sub 2 natin is equals to 1 half M V sub 2 squared. So, yung unknown, yun yung V sub 2. Okay? Yun yung V sub 2. So, yung mass, hindi naman nagbago yan. Hindi nagbabago yung mass dyan. Okay? Hindi nagbago yan. Kahit pa kung saan saan magpunta yan, kahit pa sa buwan, yung mass natin is the same. Okay? Ang magbabago lang doon ay yung ating weight which is due to gravitational pull. Okay? Iba yung gravitation ng ating earth sa gravity ng ating moon. Okay? So, review lang po. So, apply, uh, substitute yung ating mass 1,500 kg and the only unknown is B sub 2. B sub 2. So, substitute natin ito doon. Itong K sub 2 doon sa K sub 2. And itong 3,000 which is K sub 1, balik doon. And equate in 10, 10 kJ. Okay? 10 kJ. 10 kJ. So, yan. Substitution lang. 
So, 3,000 Joule yung value ng K1 natin. And, uh, 10,000 Joule naman yung ating uh, W total. Okay? Ito yon Okay? Convert lang. Times 1,000. Okay? Para maging Joule. And that would be equal to 13,000 Joule. Tama. Yung K sub 2 natin. Yung K sub 2 natin is nakuha lang using this formula. Okay? So, algebra lang po. So, K sub 2 is equals to 13,000. And the K sub 2 is equals to 1 half MB squared siya. Okay? So, yan. Ito, pinakita ko lang na dapat yung ating mga mga forces as, ay naka-Newton. Yung ating work energy ay naka-Joule. And yung time, naka-seconds dapat. And dapat yung mga length natin pag ay naka-meters. Okay? Pag nagko-compute tayo ng ganitong problem, ha? Para yung makukuha nating sagot is also in SI unit din. Okay? So, and the value for K sub 2 is 1 half MB sub 2 squared. And i-equate natin yung nakuha nating 13,000 dito. Okay? The only unknown is B sub 2. Then we will get the answer for B sub 2 is equals to what? 4.2 meter per second. So, yun. Nasagot na natin yung 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 tanong 4.2 meter per second. Okay? Yan. So yun yung kahalagahan ng ating uh, work energy theorem. Kung pwede natin kunin yung uh, mga velocity from one point to another using the work energy theorem. Okay? So another is another example is the forces on the hammer head. Another example ha. The 200 kg steel yan siya. Yan. So, sa ating mga civil engineering, applicable, applicable ito. Ano? So, kapag uh, may concrete pile na ibinabaon, o na ibinabaon ha, ang ibinabaon ay mga concrete pile kapag uh, yung uh, sobrang lambot ng lupa, kailangang maabot yung uh, katigasan ng lupa. Ano? Kaya ibinabaon yung mga concrete pile. So, yan yung, yung concrete pile, yan yung pinapatungan ng ating foundation. Ano? foundation para yung 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 pwersa na galing dun sa building ay may transmit dun sa sa katigasan ng ilalim pinakailalim ng lupa so kailangan gumamit ng concrete pile ngayon ang tanong ang ating situation is yan ibinabaon yung ating concrete pile which is i beam i beam yung concrete pile nakikita nyo ha i beam and ibinabaon gamit yung ating steel hammer head Nakikita nyo yung kulay dilaw na yan, ibinabaon, ibinabagsak ng ibinabagsak doon sa ating I-beam. Yung I-beam na yan, oh, para bumaon ng bumaon hanggang maabot yung ating katigasan ng lupa. And, and ang tanong sa atin is yan, yan, letter A. Letter A, the speed of the hammerhead just as it hits the I-beam. And B, the average force the hammerhead exerts on the I-beam ignore the effects of air. Okay, kung nakikita nyo, yung ating hammerhead is bumabagsak papunta doon. Ano? So, merong guide dyan. Itong guide dyan, yung dalawang nasa tabihan. Yung dalawang nasa tabihan, yun yung guide para saktong-saktong babagsak yung ating gitna ng ating hammerhead doon sa gitna noong I-beam. Okay? And yung support na ito, magkocontribute yan ng frictional force. Frictional force which is 60 newton 60 newton force okay yan vertical guide rails yan and nung bumagsak na dito so nagkaroon ng displacement so bumaon ng kaunti at about 7.4 cm 7.4 cm bumaon dahil yung impact nung hammerhead eh. okay 7.4 cm okay And yung 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 taas ng ating hammerhead pamula doon sa ano is 3 meters. Okay, 3 meters 'yan. Nandiyan naman, kita niyo naman sa figure na po. So yung point 1 natin is from rest ng hammerhead, yung point 2 is doon sa babagsakan, and yung point 3, yun na yung nag-displace yung ating I-beam. Bumaon, okay? Hindi kung ano yung bumaon ha, yung bumaon ay yung ating I-beam, okay? Yan. Ignore the effects of air resistance. Okay. So, na-analyze na natin yung problem. Alamin natin yung free body diagram. Paano-ano ba yung pag-act ng ating 
ng ating mga forces dyan dun sa ating body. Ang unahin natin gawa ng three body diagram is yung falling hammerhead. Kasi ang tanong sa atin yung una is the speed of the hammerhead just as it hits the eye beam. Okay? So, gawa natin ng, ng ano yan, ng, ng free body diagram. Paano natin gagawa ng free body diagram yan? So, during this this falling pamula doon is ganyan. So, ano yung mag-a-act dyan doon sa ating sa ating uh, hammerhead during the falling yung falling nya okay free body diagram for falling hammerhead so may normal force na ba dyan so wala pa hindi pa bumabagsak dun eh so walang normal force na mag a doon okay wala so kaya walang normal force dyan eh so yung friction force meron ba so meron po ano po kasi nga habang bumabagsak siya kumikis-kis siya doon sa ating guide so na nagko-contribute ng 60 newton constant frictional force and yung ating direction of, ng frictional force again is against the direction of motion yung motion natin is papunta dun eh so therefore yung ating yung frictional force is against so pataas so, kaya, kaya, kaya pataas ito eh okay 60 newton and ano pa yung mag-aak dyan dahil may bigat yan and may mass yung ating hammerhead ah uh, nag a dyan yung ating gravitational force. Yun yung ating weight. Okay? Which is equal to the mass times acceleration due to gravity. Okay? And yung direction of motion, may velocity ito. From point 1 to point 2. Okay? Yan. So, yan yung kailangan natin gamitin doon sa ating uh, question A. Itong pre-body diagram na yan. Ito lang yan. Ha? So next, dun sa B, gawan din natin ng free body diagram. So the average force the hammerhead exerts on the beam. So tumama na. Tumama na. Nandito na. Imagine yung ito ay nandito na. Tumama na doon sa I-beam. Ang tanong ay yung average force na inexert ng ating hammerhead doon sa I-beam. So ganito yung ating free body diagram dyan. Ito yung point kung saan tumama na. Okay, nandun na sa point na yun tumama na yung ating hammerhead. Okay? Ngayon, pre-body diagram tayo. Alamin yung mga force na mag-aak dyan, na nag-aak dyan during the time na tumama yung hammerhead dun sa I-beam. So, may, may, may normal force na ba dyan? So, may normal force na kasi lumapat na eh. Lumapat na dun eh. So, may normal force na mag-aak directly perpendicular against the motion. Okay? Which is yan. Which is yan. So, ito yun. Yan yun. Normal force. Alin pa yung mag-aak dyan? So, nandun pa rin naman siya dun sa guide. Nasa guide pa rin siya. So, may frictional force pa din yan. Against pa din. Against pa din dun sa ating uh, motion. Ano? Okay? Yan. Alin pa yung nag-aak dyan? Alin pa? Hindi naman nawala yung bigat niya ni. Eh. So, may, may bigat pa din tayo yung acts yung yung force due to gravitation okay yeah that is the weight which is equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity okay unang tanong mag-focus tayo sa unang free body diagram during the 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 hammerhead is falling yan so yan so and yung weight natin given yan 200 kg yung bigat ng ating hammerhead uh, we have we have only to multiply by 9.8 meter per second square that is acceleration due to gravity standard yan so, and then then the weight natin is equals to 1,960 newton so yun yung weight natin and yung frictional force 60 newton yun yung kumikis case so ang kailangan natin gamitin dito is the, the work energy theorem since ang tanong sa atin is velocity ano velocity at point 2 Velocity at point 2 Dahil Ang tanong eh, Doon ay Ano daw yung velocity uh, During the time na nag, nag ano, bag, Bago humampas doon sa ating Bago tumaktak doon sa ating uh, uh, I-beam pile okay? Ano yung velocity doon So using the work energy theorem Yung change work Total, total work is equals to, connect, to uh, Change in kinetic energy so unahin muna natin, alamin natin yung total work during the time, du during that time, ano, na nagbagsak, okay? So, eto, 
So, ito yung net force lang yan. So, tapos yung S from one from point 1 to 2, yung S sub 1 to yun. Ito yun. Yun yung 3. Okay? So, kuhanin natin yung net force. Net force nito, multiplied by the displacement, which is 3 meters. So, makukuha natin yung W tot or yung total work. Okay? Ayan. So, ang unang uh, force dyan is uh, W. So, yung direction niya is pababa. So, along with the direction of motion. So, positive siya. Kaya positive yan. Okay? And the another force is the frictional force which is against the direction of motion. So, kaya nag-negative siya. Okay? Basta against the direction of motion, negative siya. Ha? Huh? Okay. And alin pa yung mag aak dyan? So, wala na. Pulling yan. No? Nagpo-pull siya. No? Walang normal force dyan. So, multiplied by S from point 1 to 1 to. Ah, from point 1 to 2. So, that is 3 meters. Yun. So, 1960 minus 60 Kaya naging 1,900 lang yan. Okay? So, multiplied by S, which is 3.00 meters. So, we will get the total work is equals to 5,700 joules. Okay? Tama. 5,700 newton meter or 5,700 joules. So, gamitin natin work energy theorem. Ang target kasi natin yung velocity at point 2. So, energy theorem. So, as you can see, uh, the hammerhead initially is at rest. Meaning, yung velocity dyan ay yung velocity dito, B sub 1, is equal to 0. At rest siya eh. Okay? At rest initially. So, meaning yung kinetic energy dito sa part ng point 1, di ba, 1 half mb squared siya, mb sub 1 squared, Kung zero ito, meaning yung kinetic energy at that point will also equal to zero. Tama? So, kaya naging ganyan yan. So, meaning yung ating work, total work is equals to 1 half mb sub 2 squared only. So, walang kinetic energy at point 1. Yan na yun. So, apply lang natin yung ating knowledge algebra. So, find the value of B sub 2 in terms of W uh, total work and the mass of the body. So, ganyan yun. Square root of 2, uh, square root of the quantity of 2 times uh, total work over mass. Okay. Then, makukuha natin yung B sub 2. So, nakuha na natin ito. Tama? And yung mass, nasa inyo, ah, yung ating uh, mass, tama? So, madali lang yan. Ayan, 200. 200 kilogram. Okay? So, direct substitution lang po. Makukuha na natin yung ating sagot na B sub 2 which is 7.55 meter per second. So, yung total work, ito yun. And yung mass natin given, 200 kilogram. Yung mass noong, noong ating hammerhead. Ha? Mass noong hammerhead. Be careful kung aling mass ang ating consider Okay? So, another question is, ano yung kwersa na in-exert nung uh, hammerhead uh, during the time na nag-impact o tumama, pumata doon sa ating uh, I-beam uh, pile. Ano? I-beam pile. So, yan yung pre-body diagram kung paano nagawa yan. So, na-explain ko na kanina. So, yung mga forces na mag a doon sa ating uh, body during the time na nag uh, ano siya na nag uh, tawag dito nag impact okay so hammerhead pa din hammerhead pa din yung ating <coughs> ating i-isolate na na pre body diagram yun pa din siya ano okay so ang tanong dyan is the the average force normal force ito yung hinahanap average norm force na inexert doon sa ating ng, ng, ng hammerhead doon sa beam. Okay? So, ito yung tanong. Yan yung mismong tanong. Yung normal force. Yan yung, yan yung hinahanap natin. Okay? Kasi, during the time of impact, so, magkocontribute ng uh, upward reaction. 
upward reaction yung ating I-beam. And that is equal to the force na in-applied nung ating uh, hammerhead. So, action and reaction. Third law of motion. So, napakahalaga ng Newton's laws of motion. Ano po? Yan. So, normal force yung kailangan. So, using the work energy theorem. So, using the work energy theorem again, ha? So, kailangan nating alamin yung total work. So, total work from this. So, ito yon So, net force. Kunin natin yung net force. So, W. So, yun yung weight. Ano? So, yung net force from here. Yun yung, alin ba yung mga net force from, from the free body diagram. So, unahin natin yung weight. So, weight ay along with the direction of motion. So, positive siya. Okay? Kasi yung, yung, yung ating I-beam ay nag-settle nag, nag ng 7.4 cm in the direction downward direction and yung weight natin is downward direction also meaning positive yung ating weight okay and yung frictional force yan ito yan yung 60 newton is against against pa din siya with the direction of motion therefore negative siya okay and yung ating normal force so yung normal force yung reaction ng i beam natin diyan is Against with the direction of motion. Therefore, negative pa din siya. Negative end. And, yung, para makuha yung total work, multiply natin dun sa displacement. Okay? Displacement from point 0.2 to point 0.3, which is 7.4 cm. Kung nakikita nyo, centimeter yan, kapag ginamit na yan sa formula natin, kailangan niya nakameter. Okay? Dapat nakameter yan. Okay? And that total work is equal to change in kinetic energy from point 2, from point 2 to point 3. Ito yun. K sub 3 minus K sub 2. Okay. And using algebra again, so find the value of the normal force in, in terms of kinetic energy. So yan yun. So N is equal to W minus F minus transpose lang to dun sa kabila. Kaya nag-over dito. 23. Then, lipat lang ng equals, equal sign. So, so yung mag maglipat lang ng equal sign ay gano'n yun. Gano'n itong mangyayari dyan. Okay. Algebra lang po yan. Galing lang yun dito sa equation na ito. Yan. Dito lang kayo mag-stick. Yan. Transposition. Manipulation makukuha natin yung ating equation na yan for the normal force okay so 1960 yung uh, 1960 yun yung ating weight and then yung frictional force natin is 60 newton so yung kinetic energy at point 3 is 0 why 0? kasi yung I-beam natin is nag settle down and again nag rest ulit siya Okay? Remains at rest. Okay? So, kung at rest dyan, yung kinetic energy at that point, at point 3, is equal to 0. Meaning, 0 yung ating kinetic energy at point 3. But, dun sa point 2, may kinetic energy dun. Kasi, may motion pang mangyayari dun eh. And, nakuha natin yung kinetic energy at point 2 kanina. That is 5,700 joules. Okay? And then yung ating S to S or the displacement from point 2 to point 3 is 7.4 cm. So as you can see, kinonvert natin sa meter. Kailangan i-convert sa meter yan para hindi magkamali ng sagot. Okay? That is equals to 0 0.074 meters. Yung 7.4 cm na, na, na settlement is equal to 0 0.074 meters. So, divide divide 100 cm lang yan. Divide 100 lang. Okay? 7.4 divide 100. Bakit? Dahil there is 100 centimeter in 1 meter. Okay? Yan. Then, direct input in, into your calculator. Then, we will get the answer. 79,000 newton or 79 kilo newton. Ito yung 
force na inexert nung ating ating hammerhead doon sa ating eye beam na equal doon sa ating normal force. Okay? Yan. Yan po yung ating uh, sagot. So, doon sa problem. So, kita nyo, napakahalaga nung work energy theorem uh, for some for some problem na kailangan talagang gamitan ng kinetic energy. Okay? Yan. So, thank you po. So, hanggang dyan lang muna yung ating video. So, kung may mga tanong kayo, uh, you can ask me and then I will try my best to explain. So, thank you and good luck sa darating na midterm examination.